guys, right, so this is going to be a quick guide. I'm basically just going to be showing you how you can actually use the opacity channel within Substance Painter. So if you were using these materials of mine that actually uh, utilizes the power of opacity, so these materials like the lace or anything that has transparency, uh, I'll basically show you how to activate that within Substance Painter because by default, uh, you actually don't have an opacity channel. So we'll be setting that up and adding one so that you'll be able to actually view uh, materials like this with the transparencies you'll see if I activate 46 as well uh, this one's also got some transparency on it so you can see that I can see through the mesh and it's really simple to set up right so let's do that okay so for this demonstration I'll be using fabric 51 which is a fabric that uses the opacity channel so you'll see if I drag that material on here um, this material is actually not transparent so I'm gonna go ahead and actually put this on 4k quickly so I can see this material a lot better. Now you can see this isn't transparent. These black areas are actually still black, right? So it's treating it, uh, it's treating this material as, as if it doesn't have any transparency. So to enable transparency, go to your viewer settings and your shader, click on that and select PBR metal with alpha blending. Now you can go back to your texture settings and we, are, we want to actually add an opacity channel. So you want to click on this plus, go to opacity, and bam that's it so if I go back to my material and for whatever reason uh, if opacity uh, is not selected over there sometimes that's unticked and it'll still look like this you want to just go ahead and make sure opacity is ticked and that's it now you've got an opacity channel and you're good to go so you can start using these transparent materials uh, within substance painter okay Another cool thing you can do with the opacity is uh, I can actually start blending this opacity with other materials. So if I load it in, let's load in uh, Fabric 43 and I place that on top. I'm going to make sure the material is on top of the opacity. Uh, so just let that load. I'll show you. Uh, so let me disable opacity. So you can see these materials are starting to blend together. So this is what Fabric 43 uh, looks like default. So if I actually activate that opacity that's underneath, it starts blending this together and it gives uh, that previous material a transparent um, a transparent look and feel to it. So I think that's pretty cool how it just blends those materials together uh, while maintaining that uh, transparent aspect of it as well. So yeah, just quick tip I thought I would show you guys is that you can actually combine these two together and get creative with them and you're not just stuck with uh, the standard transparency so you guys can get creative blend these together and see what you can uh, what you can actually come up with all right guys anyway um yeah so that's going to be the end of this quick guide and i just want to say thank you so much guys for the support i truly appreciate it i spent a lot of time creating these materials because i wanted to build a really nice uh, library of fabric materials for myself and for you guys as well so Thank you for watching my tutorials and stay tuned for some more tutorials and resources. And again, thank you for the support and goodbye.